Critical minerals are the backbone of modern tech, powering batteries, EV motors, magnets, semiconductors, and defense systems. Yet, the U.S. depends heavily on foreign supply chains. In 2024 alone, the U.S. imported about 80% of its rare earth elements, nearly 100% of gallium and natural graphite, and most of its lithium, nickel, and cobalt. That reliance is a strategic vulnerability. China dominates processing and refining for many of these materials. The U.S. government is now treating critical mineral supply chains as a national priority. In August 2025, the Department of Energy announced nearly $1 billion in funding to scale mining, processing, and manufacturing of critical minerals domestically. Meanwhile, the Interior Department released its draft 2025 list of critical minerals, guiding investment and permitting decisions. Fixing this requires full supply chain integration, from mining to refining to manufacturing. Private firms are stepping in to bridge gaps. MP Materials operates the only active rare earth mine and processing facility in the U.S. at Mountain Pass, California. USA Rare Earth is rebuilding domestic magnet supply chains to reduce dependence on foreign sources. Ramico Resources, shown here at its Wyoming site, is pioneering coal to carbon innovation, converting coal into graphite and carbon products for batteries and advanced materials, and BGN is expanding too, with a new Texas-based affiliate, BGN USA, integrating critical mineral sourcing and trading into the U.S. ecosystem. America's race for critical minerals isn't just about raw materials. It's about sovereignty, security, and leadership in the clean tech era. Today's supply chains are tomorrow's tech power. Follow for more on energy, resources, and strategic infrastructure.